event in Shellsburg High School. Thank you all very much for attending the annual Fine Arts Meeting. I, Celia Turner, am honored to announce our very special speaker for tonight. She was born in July of 1964 in Arlington, Virginia. Her mother, Helga, was an opera singer, while her father, John, was a vocal coach. She was an American citizen, but that did not stop her from growing up on the roads of Europe. She became familiar with the stage at a very young age, when she first had a when she first had a stage performance at the age of five. She appeared on the Neumannbergs Children's Choir and basically any other opera show that her mother was in. She was 12 years old when she officially moved back to the DC area and stayed there until she graduated in 1982. In her senior class, she was voted most likely to brighten your day. After high school, she enrolled at East Carolina University in Greenville, North Carolina to study acting. She was only a few credits short of her bachelor's degree when she abruptly decided that college was not for her and dropped out. She moved to New York in 1986 where she joined the Neighborhood Playhouse Theater. Her acting career kicked off when she starred in the off-Broadway production of No Time Flat in 1988. A New York Magazine theater critic singled her out for an amazing performance with, which landed her an agent. She stated that early acting jobs were very unsuccessful and embarrassing at times. She even described 1991 as her season in hell. But in 1994, she received widespread recognition for her movie, Speed. Everybody had seen that movie. Everybody had loved that movie. Everybody now knew her name, Sandra Bullock. In the mid-1990s is when she started appearing in big budget films like While You Were Sleeping, The Net, and A Time to Kill. In the 2000s, she appeared in movies like Miss Congeniality, Murdered by Numbers, Two Weeks Notice, and Infamous. In 2002, she even helped exec executively produce the successful TV show, George Lopez. But it wasn't until 2009 when Bullock had a career breakthrough and her after her performances in the romantic comedy, The Proposal, and the sports drama, The Blind Side. She was given the title of Entertainer of the Year in 2009. She also won an Academy Award for Best Actress and a Golden Globe for her work in The Blind Side. Sandra Bullock is one of the most iconic actresses in the U.S., and I highly admire her for her natural beauty, dedication, and realism. Despite the fact that I praise her and want to think she's anything less than perfection, she's had weaknesses and struggles as well. In 2007, an obsessive stalker of hers actually tried to run over her husband in an attempt to kill him. But <laughs> keep in mind, in 2010, Bullock's husband had an affair, and they, avoid, and they divorced soon after. Sandra put the sub Sandra put these struggles aside to look for a new joy in her life and became a mother after adopting a baby boy. After her, return to, after her break from Hollywood for a few years, she made a tremendous return in 2013 with The Heat, which she co-starred with Melissa McCarthy, and a little later she starred in the amazing success, Gravity. Her work on Gravity won her several awards, and she was awarded again with the title of Entertainer of the Year by Entertainment Weekly in 2013. Now, on behalf of Vinton Shellsburg High School Fine Arts Program, Please give a big welcome for one of Hollywood's most talented actresses and my personal role model, speaking on the dedication to fine arts, Sandra Bullock. Thank you.